Hi, I'm Dr. Mahucci from the Eye Clinic of Florida. This is Melissa Merced, who's joined me. When she was a teenager, we did cataract surgery on one eye, and then the next year, a crystal lens came out, and we thought that was an opportunity for this young woman to not wear reading glasses through college and the rest of life. <laughs> so at that time, in 2004, she was the youngest person on the planet, for what we knew, uh, who had had crystal lens. So 10 years later, how's it been? Really good. Great. So uh, you don't use glasses for distance, right? No glasses. How about things that are out here, arm's length, computers, stuff None. like that? How about reading? What percent of the time do you need reading glasses? About 5%, less than 5 Great. Any glare or halos when you're driving or stuff like that? No. Perfect. Any problems with the lens sense? No. Any regrets? No. No <laughs> regrets. <laughs> Perfect. So we want to watch today how fast she can read. We're going to use the iRest reading card. She has no extra light uh, coming from behind. So can you read uh, this tiny print for us and let's see how fast yes. you can do it. In a small town, a greengrocer had opened a shop that was located above a deep cellar. Every night, mice came in droves out of the cellar into the shop. They ate apples and pears, grapes and nuts, and did not spare the vegetables and potatoes either. No goods that were in the shop were safe from the small intrusive rodents between midnight and sunrise. As long as there was noise in the streets at night and cars driving by, the mice were still stayed quietly in the cellar. But as soon as the old clock on the town hall had struck midnight and it became quiet in the street, they came out in droves enjoyed the sweet fruits and celebrated real feasts, whose remains filled the owner with despair every morning when he entered the shop. So he tried to protect himself against the mice. At first, he set up traps all over the shop. Great. It's been about 10 years now. If you could bring the uh, card up to the camera so the audience can see. You see, that's a pretty small print. And the average person gets through this in about 40 plus minus six seconds and you did it in about 47 seconds so that's really really good um, thanks very much for joining us thank you for having me